Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Haley. If you are a returning subscriber, hey you guys. If not, click that subscribe button. We can wait while you do it. Pause the video because you do not want to miss out on what I'm about to say. Okay, you guys should be subscribed right now, but in today's video, we are doing what should be in your backpack for school. This video is to help you guys out. So don't miss anything that I'm saying or miss any information that I'm telling you because this is going to be some good information. Some people know what you should pack in your backpacks and some people don't. So this is for anybody that doesn't know, but continue to watch. As you can tell from the back, I have all my things that I'm going to be explaining in this video from the hygiene to the notebook and pen to the iPad to the water bottle. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. First thing we're going to start with is my hygiene bag. This is from Walmart. The bag is a little too small for all my items, but I will be upgrading it. Um, you can get this from Walgreens or CVS that you choose from it's just a hygiene bag but i'm going to explain everything that's in my hygiene bag that you will need for your during school so first thing i have is deodorant i know how this get when you're rushing out the house you tend to forget deodorant a lot of people have done it it's normal nothing is wrong with that but when you do forget it and you have your hygiene bag and it's in there, you can use it. Like crazy, right? But you have some deodorant. So you won't forget to put deodorant on. You can put a little little line, little swoop in the car if you need to. I know during school, it's a lot of students. The hallways be hot, everywhere be hot. Some schools you have to walk outside to get to another class. Hot outside, everyone is going to be hot. So bring you some deodorant, just in case you have a little, a little mus. It's nothing wrong with that, but you wouldn't have that if you had deodorant. So bring you some deodorant. Next thing we have is floss. Anybody that has braces, regular teeth, doesn't matter. Bring you some floss. We eat during school. We're there for eight hours, so we have to eat. And you have things stuck in your teeth. You can have floss on deck. And you can get it right out because I know when I had braces and I got something stuck in the back, it was annoying trying to get it out. So bring you some floss. Don't forget this. You need to floss sometimes. Okay? Okay. For my other things, I have pads. Ladies, we have cycles, so we have to bring pads. Some ladies know when their cycle starts, some don't. I mean, bring you some pads. Even if you're not on your cycle and just say somebody come up to you and ask you, hey, I forgot my pad, do you have one? You can say yeah and give them a pad. Someone's always gonna need help at school. Something is always gonna happen. Like, And when you have pads on you, you can help somebody else that don't have one. So. Bring you some pads. Um, I say bring you two in your bag if you're not on your cycle, but when you are, bring more because, I mean, why not? Two is good. Also, I have some panty liners. Some people wear panty liners, some don't. I mean, it's like a mini pad to me, but it's really not. So I just have some in mind. But if you don't wear panty liners, you just don't wear them. Other thing I have is my drawers. I'm not gonna show you guys my drawers, <laughs> but bring you some black drawers. I say black because when you're wearing something that's light, you don't wanna have pink drawers on, like white. Tell me a reason why do you have pink drawers on with white pants, white leggings, new, like just a see-through color anyway. Bring you black drawers black plain drawers no writing on them because i know 
pink Victoria's Secret. They got all that writing on your drawers. Bring you some black plain drawers. You can get some from Walmart, H&M. I'm putting y'all on because H&M drawers, Lord. Woo, them some good drawers, I'm just saying. Bring you some black drawers, plain black drawers. No color, no pink, purple, blue, none. Just bring plain black drawers. Um, other things I have is lip gloss. Like I said, we're in school eight hours. Who wants dry lip for eight hours? Why do you have, why is your lips so dry? Like, why? Do not be sharing your lip gloss with anyone. Don't put it on their hands. Don't do nothing. They need their own lip gloss. We're in a pandemic, like, it's a no for me. Bring you some lip gloss. Bring Vaseline too, but I have lip gloss. I like Vaseline on my lips all day, but when I want that little pop, that little extra pop, I love me some lip gloss. This lip gloss is from the hair store, so make sure you get some. It's like a dollar or two. Go pick you up some lip gloss. Uh, next thing I have is Clorox wipes. Um, you want to wipe down your chair and desk before sitting because you don't know who has sat in that seat before you. So bring you some wipes. We're in a pandemic. Like I said, germs been going on before the pandemic even came. But since the pandemic came, it's serious. It was serious before, but now it's more serious. So make sure you grab you some Lysol wipes. Put you like three or four in a Ziploc bag. Make sure you label it and bring you some to school because you're going to be touching people. I know some people is going to hug their friends because they haven't seen them all summer. But make sure you have some. You can use these on your hands too. Nothing wrong with a little extra clean. Next thing I have is wipes. Like I said, ladies, we tend to have incidents at school and we have cycles. So make sure you bring you some wipes. Some women like to use tissue and wipes when they're done using the restroom. And it's nothing wrong with that. Extra clean, but so make sure you bring you some. These are huggies. And make sure, please make sure you label these. Because if you use this, on your butt, I don't know what to tell you because that's gonna be a little burn, a little sting, a little whoo. Make sure you label these baby wipes and Lysol wipes because if you use this on your butt, nah, I know. <laughs> I, you better not, like, make sure you label these. Put like two or three in a bag and write baby wipes and Lysol wipes on. I also have hand sanitizer. <laughs> We're in a pandemic, you guys. Like, why don't you have hand sanitizer? And I know y'all gonna be excited to see y'all friends hugging and shaking hands, dabbing them up. Make sure y'all have some hand sanitizer. We're still in a pandemic. Even before we was in a pandemic, we should have been bringing hand sanitizer to school. When y'all shake somebody's hand, how y'all know what they've been doing before y'all shook their hand? Huh? You don't, so make sure you have some. Can get the spray, or you can get the little drip. <laughs> Why did I say drip? You can get the little push. This is from Bath and Body Works, if you want the spray one. And this is from like your local Walmart, CVS corner store it doesn't matter but make sure you have some and make sure you use it 24 7 because you're going to be touching doors all that your phone can hold germs too so you can use the lysol wipes to wipe your phone off so make sure y'all wipe your phone off because your phone can hold germs too hand sanitizer watch it hey so make sure you have these um, I know some of my girls like to do their hair at school. Say you're having a bad hair day. You can get you some, a container and put you some gel, edge control, whatever y'all use for your hair got to be, and you an edge brush. So you can swoop, 
two that's all you got to do or you can bring a brush and a comb when you rushing out the house like i know the feel i can't even get myself together like that's the feel make sure y'all have this because why not why not have just a little extra on you bring this with y'all i well braids y'all see me like i don't really wear my natural hair like this so it wouldn't be a big deal to me because all i gotta do is my baby hairs and probably whatever i do my style that day but for my girls that do sports and all that make sure y'all have y'all some edge control gel or brush or comb on y'all because i know i wouldn't want to go to my basketball game looking a mess and i'm a cheerleader i'm sorry that's just me that's just my preference that's just how i am okay um kleenex say you sneeze one day and you need to go to the restroom to get you some kleenex like you don't know who been touching on that tissue no child no get you some kleenex some little tissues I know people sneeze all day, like, get you some of these. Mads, ooh, Jesus. Get you some masks, y'all. We're in a pandemic. We're at school eight hours. People get sick at school. Anything can happen at school. Germs going at school. It's like almost a thousand children at school. It's packed. Everybody going to school. Make sure you have some masks. You can put some in, like, a little bag you can put like two or three make sure you get you some masks use your own stuff please use your own stuff it's too much going around too many germs too many sick people and then they be sick and don't even tell you they sick so now you got me sick and now we got an issue so now we're going to move on to the school supplies i say bring you two journals to school first day but do you really need them Probably not because what do we do on the first day? Tell me. All the teachers is doing is telling you what to expect from day class and giving you a school supply list for their class. But if you have to take notes and everything, I say bring you some notebooks and some pens. I say pens because we're in high school. Some teachers, they do not like you writing in pencil in their class because somebody can steal your work. And you can't even back it up and say that's your work. It don't got no name on it. So make sure you bring you some pens and a note, two notebooks. You probably should bring you one first day. You don't really need them, but make sure you bring them. You can also bring some notebook paper. It really doesn't matter. Just make sure you have some, something on you. You'd rather be safe than sorry. I say bring an iPad if you are able to some schools i know they don't let you have your devices out because they just i don't i don't know what's that about but we in high school we're not in elementary but whatever you can bring you an ipad you don't even have to bring your notebooks or nothing if you have your ipad because you can write everything down on your ipad like your notes and all that you can take pictures on your ipad too make sure you have an ipad if you are able to bring them some schools they take your stuff up and you gotta pay for it back like is you paying for my phone bill or is my mama paying for my phone bill hmm bring it if you can but if you can't don't don't take the chance do not the next thing is a charger like i said we in school eight hours a day Make sure y'all have y'all chargers. Who wants their phone dead? First of all, who come into school with their phone dead? Charge your phone at night time. But I know my phone don't last eight hours. I be on it sometimes. Sometimes a little bit too much. But that doesn't matter. Bring you a charger. We're in a pandemic. Don't use anybody else's charger because you don't know where that charger been, what the charger been through or nothing. And make sure you write your initials on your charger. I'm sorry to tell you, but it be some people that will steal your stuff in school and then 
you can't even back it up. You can also bring a portable charger too, but it might take a little responsibility because you have to plug it up at night to make it work. So you can bring a charger like this, your Apple charger, and you can bring a portable charger. It really doesn't matter. Next thing I have is a water. I say bring the water to stay hydrated. Wearing a mask 24 seven. Some people don't wear a mask, but I know me. Oh, I'm going to put that mask on. It's going to be up here with my glasses in. So, make sure you're hydrated. We don't want no one passing out this year. Our mouths get dry. The mask is on our face. Like, we can barely have fresh air. You just breathing your air back inside you. <laughs> so, make sure you bring some water to stay hydrated and... Be safe. Do not share your water with anyone. Don't do that. Don't use fountains either. Like, no. None of that is going on in the school year of 2022. Don't do that. Bring you some water. Thank you. Cool. I drink cool, but if you drink regular water, bring your water that you drink. I drink cool, so a bottle will be with me almost every day because I drink my water. So bring you some water. Okay, I don't have anything else to explain. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And to tell a friend, to tell a friend to watch my videos. Because if they not, what y'all doing? Y'all missing out. Don't do that. Don't make me mad. But make sure you hit that subscribe button. Love you guys. Bye.